and we are going to do a spinal twist. So if you have a tweaky back or you know that you're really stiff, just be gentle with yourself in this one. Um, this can be one where it might feel a bit sensitive in your back. So just go as far as you can. Don't beat yourself up if today is not your day for it. It will be your day at some point in the future. We are going to take our arms out to 90 degrees from the shoulder and we're going to spread each and every one of our fingers nice and wide. You are making sure that your fingers, forearms, upper arms and shoulder blades have momentum. Yes, this is a hip opening exercise, but you will not open your hips very far if you do not push down onto the floor with your fingers, your palms, your forearms, upper arms and shoulder blades. So keep a downward force through every part of your hand, arm and shoulder. Then let's all do the same side at once because that makes sense. Feel free to have a pillow under your head if you need. You're going to take your right ankle to your left knee like so. For some of you, this may be enough. So if you are a bit nervous about twisting or your back hurts or anything, just stay here. This is still giving you external hip rotation to be in this position. Make sure you flex the foot and make sure you push away with your knee as you do it to keep it active. Don't use your hands to crank around at the leg. Keep pushing down through your hands and arms here. If you're happy to do the twist, we are gonna send the sole of the right foot preferably all the way down to the floor and preferably the edge of the left leg goes down to the floor as well. However, we are not going that far if we notice that the opposite shoulder or arm starts lifting off the floor. So as you twist your right foot down to the left hand side, if you notice that your right shoulder blade or hand or arm starts coming up off the floor, you've gone too far. So you wanna kind of prop something, you could get your yoga block or your pillow or something like that, put that under the foot so that you're only going as far as your shoulders and arms want you to. Hopefully that makes sense. We're gonna do a minute and a half on each side. I'm gonna quickly run you through the cues again, but I won't do it on the other side in the same detail. Hands down into the floor, fingers active, arms, shoulder blades pushed down. The right knee, sorry, the right uh, foot comes above the left knee. You can keep it there if you want, but keep the foot flex pulling back towards you and pushing away with the right knee. You should feel it in the outside of the right hip. If you're coming all the way, you are making sure that the arms and the shoulders stay grounded on the floor as you twist and you're only twisting as far as you can, keeping that downward pressure onto the floor. The big toe joint stays on the floor throughout. You push away with your right knee and you can squeeze your right glute as well if you have that control. So if you have that sort of ability to squeeze your right glute at the same time, you'll feel how that opens the hip up even more. If it's comfortable to do so, you can turn your head to the right hand side as well. And we are staying here. I haven't quite got enough room in, my, in this room as ever, so ignore what my left hand is doing right now. But we're pushing down through the floor, keeping the arms and the shoulder blades pushing down. The right big toe joint stays on the floor, but we open the right knee actively out and wide and we squeeze the glute and we are moving our hip here through external rotation and abduction. And we're also getting some rotation through the pelvis, rotation through the spine, and we're working our upper body as well. So it's a full body exercise. We've got 30 seconds left. Keep it active. You never want these exercises to become too passive unless I am instructing you that they are a passive exercise. So something like static back, for example, um, you are switching everything in your body off. But something like this, it shouldn't feel like you're sort of chilling out or hanging into your tendons and your muscles. You should feel like you're activating things because it's through activation that we create change. Three, two, one. Gently creak yourself back to center. Um, you can do a couple of little shimmies through your pelvis, through your lower back, through your knees if you feel like you need to. And um, we're gonna do exactly the same on the other side. To those of you who stayed at that first option before, that is fine, do that again. It's really beneficial because you're still getting the rotation of the hip, but you're just not combining it with the spinal rotation and the pelvic rotation too. Hands are pinning down. We are taking our left foot this time to our right knee, spinning 
our body towards the right hand side so that the sole of the left foot goes towards the ground. We're only going as far as we can as long as we are able to maintain a downward pressure onto the floor through our left arm and shoulder. I don't have enough room for my left hand so I'm having to do something a bit strange. We keep the big toe joint on the left hand side pinned down. We squeeze the left knee away to open up the hip and then we can squeeze and contract and hold that contraction in the glute here to open up that hip even more. Keep pushing down through arms and shoulders, head can twist to the left, the belly stays relaxed and remember we're not gritting our teeth or holding our breath. We are keeping a calm diaphragmatic breath and if we are not keeping our calm diaphragmatic breath, you've gone too far, your body is compensating. See if you can find your edge without holding your breath. Fundamentals of movement, if you've lost the breath, you've lost your function, you're not doing it properly, find your edge where you can control your breath. And it might look a bit different to contorting yourself, from contorting yourself in these types of weird shapes. Got just over 20 seconds left, keep grounding through the left big toe joint, pushing away with the left knee, squeezing that left glute and squeezing the shoulder blades and arms down on the floor, relaxing the belly. So we're opening up each of your hips one at a time here. Although actually your right hip is in a good amount of extension here. So it is actually probably stretching off the right hip uh, for many people as well. Okay, amazing. Do any little shakes or things that you need to do en route. 